This is Vader Reviews. We are honored that you would join us. This week I've been one happy space camper. You could say I've been over the moon. Because Zack is back and he's on the attack. Releasing the very first trailer for the long-awaited Rebel Moon. Before we check out the trailer, I just want to take a moment to thank Hero of the Empire, Battalion Commander Matthew Nicholson, for his generous donation last weekend. We're nearing our goal, and if we can just raise about $100 more, I'll be able to replace my janky old computer so I can continue to bring you weekly videos. If you'd like to support what we're doing here, donate to our PayPal today and become a hero of the Empire. But now, with that out of the way, let's start this bad boy in 3, 2, 1. Wheat. If you grow it, they will come. That hand makes me think of General Zod's armor, but I bet it's the robot guy that Anthony Hopkins Do plays. you know the story of the Princess Issa? No, but I bet you're gonna tell me. There's nothing cooler than a big old spaceship. The myth she was called the Redeemer. I love the sense of scale. They look enormous. Looks kinda like the Sheikah logo or the Yiga clan from Legend of Zelda. Wouldn't be Snyder without a little slow motion. I was given memories of a world I will never see. Loyalty to a king I cannot serve. Looks like a perfect anime or kung fu movie backstory right there with that burning village and everything. I could not save. These chunky jet engines are pretty wizard, I gotta say. What do you think they want? Everything. M. Bison in space. They even released the trailer on Tuesday. This looks wizard, I'm digging it. Hey, is that the little girl from, uh... Is that the little girl who played Koa in 65? Ooh, that flag shot is wizard. Red lightsabers, baby. Ooh, that freaky spider chick. There's something about her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. These visuals are just incredible. One moment. Don't shush me. I do love this part. Hold on. I don't want no trouble. I bet you're gonna get some. I like that. It's like a space Winchester. Some four-armed alien dude, like a roided-up General Grievous. Man, I wish I could see this on the big screen. Tarzan, the Griffin Whisperer. I mean, this is the guy who did Guardians of Gahul, so of course he'd make a wizard griffin. Whoa, who's that sushi-faced little weirdo? This looks beyond mythic and epic. It's like he blended the fantasy and sci-fi genre together. And I love it. It's like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings all in one. Oh, blue lightsabers. They got blue lightsabers too. I know they won't call them that, but let's be real here. That's what they are. I love it. Who among you is willing to die for what you believe? If it's anything like Seven Samurai, which this is heavily inspired by, I'm guessing most of them. But this looks absolutely amazing. I just wish it was in theaters because this deserves to be seen on the big screen. Now I've seen a lot of people wondering if this is based on a book or anything else. And according to Zack Snyder, it is loosely based on Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. So it's basically Battle Beyond the Stars just without John Boy and Hannibal Smith. And it also looks like it's actually going to be good. Or for you Pixar fans out there, think of it this way. It's like the Snyder Cut of a bug's life. The M. Bison dude is essentially Hopper, coming to steal all the grain, and crush the peaceful people like ants under his boot. So, the farmers look for warrior bugs, one of whom actually fights a warrior bug on the trailer. Speaking of which, I said I was going to talk more about that freaky spider psycho, and it looks like this scene here is actually a Seven Samurai reference. And you might be thinking, hey, what the crap does a crazy spider lady have to do with Seven Samurai? 
What you see, kids, in Seven Samurai, Kambei, the main samurai strategist of the team, is introduced saving a child. And if you'll notice, Shelob over here, who kinda looks like the Borg Queen mixed with the Spider Centaur, or a Centaurantula, if you will, is holding a child captive. Meaning the red lightsaber lady might just be this movie's Kambei. There's so much amazing imagery in this trailer to talk about, but obviously another point of interest for me personally are the blue lightsabers we see briefly at the end. Looks like good old M. Bison and our main character are having an epic duel, and she's even sporting her old warrior hairdo again. So it looks like she pulls a Mulan and cuts her hair short and it's time to get down to business and defeat the Space Huns. I know I'm not supposed to like Rebels and all, but I just can't help it because this looks totally wizard, and I can't wait to see it. But what did you think of the trailer? Comment below and let me know. And if you're new here, join the Empire today by subscribing. You do not yet realize your importance. Share these videos, and together we will rule the internet. And always remember, you don't know the power of the dark side.